Welcome to Vietnam. Welcome to Vietnam. Like everything that is cooked there is actually cooked from the heart. A heart with a soul, that's it. And it doesn't it doesn't taste like you're just eating them in a normal way. You're eating them according to what the culture is all about. You felt like you've been transported to somewhere else, transported to the old Vietnamese lifestyle. And this is exactly why Hanoi is famous of the food. I love it. Welcome to Hanoi everyone. I am currently here in Vietnam and today I'm here in Hanoi in the old quarter and as what you can see the bustling places and the bustling people bustling what motorcycles just around the corner everywhere we go it's just so much fun to see these ones the culture the tradition is just so fantastic to be able to see this place I'm here to show you exactly what Hanoi is all about starting from the old quarter and all the way from the center here in Hanoi I'm just gonna give you a little bit of access and what to see what to eat and give you more of those information later so stay tuned Ăn cho cô này hai cấp Thôi cho họ thử You wanna try this the tofu Ok, oh, it's tofu, ok Cháu một cốc rồi ăn thử luôn Ngon Có ăn đặc So what's the name of this one? Bảo họ thả tiền lấy cô hai chục Tao So next stop is the ban mê Yeah The thing is this is one of the most popular bánh mì shop in Hanoi Right, the bánh mì 25 Like this one not only popular for the local people but also for the tourists And I think the tourists they appreciate it a lot because there are a lot of choices Yeah Because like uh, you can find the nice bánh mì in any bánh mì shop in Hanoi actually Like their own here Come and have a seat and they can order some bánh mì for you Yeah Yeah okay. We're having today, we're gonna have a ban mi. We're gonna have ban mi. Yeah. Wow. The thing is, they have so many different uh, choices. They have pork, chicken, beef, and vegetarian. Ooh. So, I'm gonna try the vegetarian. I'm gonna try pork. So, I'm getting a pork one. This is the Russia ban mi here, you can find it in Hanoi. And look at these ones. I think this place is more famous than any funny um, places you can find. I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Jackie Vietnam Travel for sponsoring this video. This video is sponsored by Jackie Vietnam Travel and they are a very young travel agency in Vietnam located in Hanoi and they're the best young team that will provide you a tailored needs during your stay in Vietnam. You can contact them through the link in the descriptions below so you can actually talk to them 24 7 customer service they're very good they're prompt and also they have they are the best in Hanoi so you can actually enjoy the beauty of Vietnam and also give you the best access to Vietnam thank you Vietnam and thank you Jackie Vietnam travel for sponsoring this video now back to the vlog yeah. So do you guys, because the, 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 the coffee culture here in, um, in Vietnam is so good, do you guys grow your own coffee here or do you guys export them from somewhere? Nice question. We are the second biggest coffee exporter in the world. Oh, there you it's go. Now Brazil. I understand. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I understand now. Yeah, yeah. And besides the coffee culture, we also have the like, tea culture as well. So in the city, it's more like coffee. Yeah. But in the countryside, we go like we the wow. vegetables. Yeah, so yummy, right? right? Inside we have the real pork, the special sauce 
and then we have like carrot, cucumber, some fresh hops right. to give more flavors. And the bánh mì we use here like the French baguette, like but with the different recipe from Vietnam. Influenced by French baguette, but it's not the same. But it's also right. crunchy. That's why. And then very really easy because okay, like we'll try. didn't put chili in there. And it depends on your flavors. You can add more chili or not inside. Like this, you can just add a little bit of chili up on your flavor. I don't eat much spicy just later. Can put more for you. Okay, you I'll like. put a little bit. A little bit, right? So it's time to find, it's time to try the famous banh mi of Vietnam. If you want the proper banh mi, go to Vietnam. Yep. A little only, right? Yeah, that's right. That's it. Thank you. Oh, okay. Look at that. Sauce? No, it's okay. Mmm, good job. Good. Oh my god. The bread, yeah. But we've ordered pork and also we have the chicken and the vegetarian. So we're gonna try everything all. The why Banh Mi 25 is so famous though. Because it's just so good. Oh my god. What's the name of this one? Bang Mi Chow. Chow is the pen. We call Bang Mi Chow. Right? Did I get it right? Okay. So this is a beef. Yeah. This is a sauce and we also have the pate. Pate, yeah. And then the fried egg. Right. So you yeah. just mix it like that, the same thing, and then you dip it in. Yeah, you just like break your bang mi and then you dip it in. Yeah. Enjoy the sauce together. Right, okay. Okay, let's give it a try. Yeah, just break it like a small piece and you dip it in here directly. Or you also can use a like that and just dip it in the bread. Oh, wow. Here we go. So you said you have to break the bread into pieces. And then once you have it finished breaking them, you dip it into this food. Yeah, and you join together with the beef and then the pate. Yeah. Mix it all together and I'll show you how it works. I feel like I feel like I'm a I'm a local here, you see? <laughs> Did I break it right? I think so. Yeah, it's correct equal already. Yeah. There we go. Take this and then the there, yeah. Uh, you dip it right. Yeah, and then you try to get a little bit of pate together, it will be nicer. Oh wow! Uh, there you go. Thank you. There we go. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh my God! The food. Oh my goodness! How do you guys cook this? I don't even know how you guys cook this one. They need to have their own recipe to have the sauce. Yes, and I feel like everything that is cooked here is actually cooked from the heart. A heart with a soul, that's it. We're going next to a famous coffee shop, is that right? Yeah. Where are we going next? To the local market first. Oh yeah, okay, we gotta go to the local market first. <laughs> so after the banh mi, oh my god, it's just so fulfilling. And I think this is the first time I've ever tasted such a very, very delicious banh mi ever, ever in my life. Even in Sydney, we do have Bami there, but it's nothing the same as here in Hanoi. If you want to experience the real flavor of Bami, then you have to travel all the way to Vietnam, especially in Hanoi, to experience it. It's just way beyond. I don't know what to say, I can't really explain, but this is something that my mind, it just blew me away. All right, we're going to the next destinations, which is another way we can actually see this place. Since we are having a food tour today, we are heading to the next ones, which I prefer to be probably on the market side for now. So let's go and check out the places. Okay. Woo, let me go on this side. Okay. 
Oh my god, there we go, I made it. it. <laughs> we made it, I made it. God, this is crazy, Vietnam. I'm not so used to crossing this kind of a street, but there's so many motorcycles, goes plus the um, car, goes all in one together. And there's no pedestrians at all, so all you have to do is just wait. Make sure there's a little bit of space and gap when you cross. And then, you know, that's what is said here in Vietnam. When you cross the road, you just have to be confident enough that you're crossing the road. You know, if you're not confident enough, then you make sure you actually go with someone or ask someone to help you cross the street. And Vietnamese people are just so friendly anyway. They'll help you cross the street. Welcome again. I'm currently here at the market and it's called Nom Son. I don't know the name properly and how do I actually say it properly. I might be able to give you a little bit of introductions of what really the market looks like here. This is probably the biggest market. Maybe I say a wet market here in the old quarter of Hanoi. Maybe. But let's go and check out the area because there's so many good places here that I want you to see. In this section, there are all seafoods on the side at the back. And also you've got all these dried fruits. This place is bustling of people all the time and today is actually one of those days that there's so much people are here and also buying, also doing some grocery shopping here. But yeah, what could you expect on the wet market, right? Everything you can expect really from food, seafood, all the dried foods, everything. So this is the perfect place for you to go if you're traveling to Hanoi. Go check out this wet market so you'll be able to see really what it feels like to be here. In the offering for the wedding, so wow, the beetle and then the lips and then the elderly, the mostly the elderly nowadays they can they will cut it like this and then they can eat that all together. Sour? Very sour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You also have in the Philippines? Yeah, but one. But one. For yeah. that soul? This one. So, so in Vietnamese. So, so. Yeah. Ah. Now we've come to the souvenir sections of the market. Look at all this one. Trinkets. So cool. I really like this place because there's so many things to see. Especially the souvenir shops. You would never get bored of just um, browsing everything here in one go. Um, you may be able to stay here the whole day just to look at things like this. If you enjoy shopping at all, this is a place for you guys. It's cheaper. You have to bargain though when you buy something here because you know sometimes they marked up the prices to go up so you have to make sure you make your offer to go down. You have Gucci, you got all these ones. Over there, there is a um, water buffalo. This is a water buffalo, it's very famous here in Vietnam. That's so cool. This is the only wet market that is so clean. Um, I think the, this is just one of my favorite markets here in Vietnam because it's just so clean. I mean, thinking of when you say about wet market, right? So it's always like so smushy, muddy. But this place is just so clean. Look at that floor. And it's just like the hygiene. It's so hygienic. Look at that. So you go all the way down there. It's pretty well maintained and cleaned. And yeah, I'm amazed. I can't really say it properly. Okay, tell me what is it? What is his name? So this is the main square in the old quarter. We call that Long King Nghĩa Thục Square. With the famous building and then also Hoàn Kiếm Lake. Thank you. There we go, guys. It's one of the famous here. This is very Instagram Instagram well, Instagrammable for tourists. You know, you always see this place because this is a lot of things happening like the main crossing. And there's so many motorcycles across in this area. I know you guys 
know this because you've seen a lot of YouTubes and videos and photos. But yeah, so I'm currently here. I'm showing you around and letting you see exactly what it looks like. So this is the famous one, Kim Lake, according to the Vietnamese people. There's always a legend behind this one, a fable of what is said. It's all about the magic sword and the turtle. I don't know really the whole story of it, but it does make it more captivating when you hear it from a storyteller who tells about those kind of story. More accurate and more authentic in a way it is. So this is the famous Luan Kim Lake. I hope I said it rightly and correctly. And look at these ones. Currently in the afternoon, it looks really nice. The water reflections into the sun is so good. And on the middle of it, I'm sure if you can see, there is a turtle, uh, a turtle tower, they said. It's just so cool and beautiful to just be here and relax. You know, overlooking the lake, the water, the reflex through the sun. It does gives a lot of justice if you are actually here in real life. Welcome to Cafe Din. I'm not sure how you say it, but it sounds like a very venomous name to really pronounce it really good. So I'm not really very good with the pronunciations, but I would say Din. Look at this small little cafe, which cannot be found anywhere here in Hanoi, except if you are actually a tourist, then you won't be able to find this place. But if you know someone locally, then this place does really exist and I know you've seen a lot of these videos from YouTube but I'm going to take you behind the scene just to see what it looks like how to make an egg coffee up close and personal I will do a little bit of quick talk and chat anyway so you get a little bit of information why this is so famous here in Hanoi not only here in Hanoi but in the whole Vietnam here we go let's go find out um, I think there's a lot of people come here just to try the egg coffee which is very very famous here in Hanoi um, we we're gonna try and taste this today order some hot and cold just to try which one's best that's right so this is the hot coffee on the juice you don't drink coffee and what did you get Orange juice. I just an orange juice. <laughs> so we've ordered hot egg coffee, the famous one, and also the cold egg coffee. So we're gonna still find out how what's the taste between the two. Is there any difference at all? Uh, I think it's quite similar. Quite similar, okay. Yeah. But actually, you know how I can tell you how to make egg coffee. Thank you. I just want to see how it looks like. This is so fascinating. Let's go. Let's go behind us and what it looks like how to make an egg coffee here in Hanoi. And I would say it's the famous one. So let's start with these dripping ones. Yeah, it's like, it's just like a cold dripping coffee, isn't it? That's amazing. So how many egg coffee does she make every day? Roughly. Like coffee. So if you don't mix it, it will be very bitter. Yeah. So you try this first. Yeah, try the cream first. Mm. Like creamy, right? It's like ice cream. <laughs> it's like ice cream but not cold. Like 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 ice cream. Yeah, it's so creamy, right? Like yeah. Cream, like ice cream. Yeah. And then when you mix to the coffee, mm. you feel the difference. Now I wonder why this is very popular because the hint of the sugar and the egg mixed together it felt like you have this kind of an ice creamy yeah 
warm taste. I don't know. If yeah. You like it. Yeah. 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 Then it transformed into a very strong coffee, which I like. The egg and the coffee mixed together. I never thought about this. But it's a perfect combination. Yeah. yeah. Nice flavor. Mm. Dahir is on in Hanoi really. Everything is happening here in Hanoi anywhere you go. Night is also a great time to really enjoy the food culture of Hanoi simply because there are small places here in the area that serves food outside of the streets which means that there is a night culture of food culture here in Hanoi. Now let's go and check out some places that we wanted to check out in terms of food. We want to order something that is really good enough and try more of the culture and authenticity of the food.